I thought upon the seniors and whispered a prayer, giving thanks to God for their sojourn here. Such kind and gentle souls from generations ago, what they are to us, they will never know. A sure and beaten path, a guide along the way. The dedicated laborer who's now old and gray, patriarchs and matriarchs and early pioneers, the bridge that has brought us as we've journeyed here. Soldiers of great sacrifice, treasured more than art. We honor, love, and cherish them deep within our heart. Walterine Sally. Recent surveys by the UNDP indicate that 38.7% of Kenya's population are poor, while an additional 34.9% are classified as vulnerable, the majority of which are people over the age of 65. Isiolo County is about 300 kilometers from Nairobi City. It has extraordinary scenery, beautiful towering hills roll into each other to form a wall in the horizon. Starting off as a military town for Somali soldiers, the town has evolved into an awesome mesh of tribes, including Borana, Samburu, Gabra, Sakuyo, Turkana, Meru, and Somali. Isiolo is listed among the poorest counties with a poverty rate of 51.9%, with each household earning less than 3,252 shillings a month. The effect of poverty is evidenced a lot among its seniors. They live in condemned houses that are clearly in decay and lack basic services such as water, electricity, and basic sanitation. In most instances, their houses are mud-walled, weak wooden structures that have been attacked by termites, dirt floors, leaky roofs that are often than not blown away or completely destroyed during heavy rains. Access to priority sanitary facilities is a luxury to this population. This condition is not only wreaking havoc in the homes, but also puncturing the veil of human dignity. In response to this problem, Mama Ibado Charity, a non-profit and independent organization registered in Kenya and Canada with the sole mandate of alleviating poverty among seniors in Kenya by making the basic needs available to them, came in to offer hope to this distressed population of Isiolo. Mama Ibado Charity was created in 2011 in honor of the memory of Mama Ibado Haji Osman, who passed away in 2009. She had dedicated her life to fight against the poverty and hardships experienced by many among her elderly peers and their families in Isiolo. Since its initial launch in 2011, founder Ahmed Jibril and his team of dedicated MIC volunteers have grown the organization from feeding 50 seniors in 2011 in Isiolo County to 800 seniors in Isiolo and Kakamega counties in less than a decade. In 2017, Mama Ibado Charity redefined its programs to include 1. The Seniors Feeding Program, which entails providing monthly food hampers and is the core program of the charity. 
the improvement of nutrition has worked towards increasing the life expectancy. The housing project started around 2017. We, start, we stumbled over the housing prog pro project because our core goal has always been food for the elderly. As one of our volunteers named Nazrowit was delivering food to one of our elders, she noticed he was living in a house that had openings every side of the, of the building. You can't even call it a building. It was a mud uh, house covered uh, with clothes and uh, when it rains it seeps in and it was really terrible. She was so embarrassed after giving him the food uh, she decided she'll build him a 12 by 12 house. Uh, she took up the project, she got a contractor and she built uh, the elder uh, the house. Kabla hii Murandi Jakuja was a community yote walikuwa hawana msanda yoyote. Kama vile sasa wanapataka chakura, kama vile wanapata kujengiwa nyumba wale wako marire mbaya. Hakuna mtu alikuwa na washukuria. Two advocacy program which has three major programs. The annual medical camp, the housing project and the education initiative which nurtures children and youth to become beacons of hope for the seniors and reduce the economic burden on the senior members of the community. Three, the sustainability program, which entails creation of revenue streams through agriculture. The charity secured 60 hectares of land in Isiolo County and drilled boreholes that enabled irrigation on the farm and also helped supply water to communities surrounding the farm. Ile kitu niliona hapo ilikuwa shida sana hapo mbereni. Unaweza kukuta mama hata kama ni mama mzee hana jamii yake hapa. Na hama hiyo jamii yake hawana nguvu. Huyu mama labda wote wanataandikaga chini wanarara chini. Na ile nyumba wanarara ni nyumba iko na baridi. Sasa ile mama ule anakaa hama mzee ule anakaa akiumia kwa sababu ya ile shida hata baridi ikimuingia si unajua hiyo naye ni shida nyingine. Mimi mahali na, nasimamia kuna location ambayo ni neto bula pesa of which ni slum like ina kabila wengi hali ya umaskini pia iko juu sengine kuta hata serikali mkono haifikii mbali lakini kuwa ushirikiana na mama ibado wameweza kuhamazisha wameweza kusaidia wa mama wengi sana wacha kusaidia wakiwa hai hata wakiwa wamekufa wamapatia shelter wanapata mali ya kivuli ya kuji, wakati wako hai wanapata kivuli ya kupumzika chini wanapata chakula mtu ame those are the basic things shelter yeah? health the genesis of this problem can be traced back to the shifter wars. According to narrating impacts of shifter insurgency on pastoral economy in northern Kenya, described Isiolo as a land of plenty, lafa gufa, and self-sufficient with pastoral wealth, nu durei. Soon after Kenya became independent in 1963, Somalia laid claim to part of the Northern Frontier District, NFD, leading to a secessionist war. These battles were centered around Isiolo. This war had a direct impact on the population and the economy of Isiolo. The shifters raided the herders in order to get access to food and to punish individuals suspected of resisting the independence, while the security authorities targeted the same pastoral groups for allegedly sympathizing with the shifters. Within a short period of time, the economy of Isiolo was shattered. According to reports, the economic collapse shifted the population from the countryside of Isiolo town and settlements such as the Burapesa and Bura area in the hope of getting emergency assistance. After the shifter war ended, the pastoral-centered economy of Isiolo has never recovered. 
the loss of livestock and grazing lands brought the once vibrant economy to its knees. To date, periodic violence continues to ravage the county, further aggravating the problem of social and economic wounds that Mamai Bado is trying to solve. Bado sikia isiolo yote na bamuliwa mali, hakuna watu na uwana nini. Hakuna kikombe, hakuna suburi na chukuliwa, hakuna nini. Samani mimi kwa kitanda. Kitanda ya chuma. Kuchwa chukuliwa. Samani hiko mali. Hiko mali. Hiko mali natosha kabisa. Heri ya moja na mambia mimi heri ya fulani. Mwenye atatapaso. Heri ya atapaso watu nasema. Na wale ngini naona mimi. Ah. Allah hii mutu ni museda baso na watu nasema. Sasa wakati mali yote na kuenda. Nato. Mali atui wakati ile pipi watu pishita na chukua. Na chukua sirikali na chukua. Sirikali na chukua mimi na baki na mokono tubu. Saa hiyo tu mina toroka kwa inje kusalu wangu. Mina toroka alafu mina ngia hapo. Makasitini ambili. Mimi na ngia hapo. Kitambo. Kitambo. Mimi na ngia hapa. Bede kukua ndane toni alafu mina ngia wapi. Hapa na jenga. Ndae na ngome mlongo tato na mkwanja na nkambeda ilano na mburi gana na ekomi. Na ntikini mkwanja na kajeja ntikini. Na reo ndae na nduka na hoteli. Nduka na hoteli. Jere town center. Ndae mbeto wanga mwono. Sobu za ikeja. Sobu za ikeja koko. Uzo mama. Uzo mbulu wala watoka ya jaga. Mali na pitichika. Ngombe. Ngamia hakuna. Mbushi. Mimi hiko na mnei. Ngale ya punda. Bili punda, hata nmi naanja kuibiwa, hata kuibiwa nmi naibiwa malangabi yaba hata nsambulu nikuwa latubu hata mbukoki yaba. Samani. Alikuwa wakati fita bado ngia, tunapanda chamba, tunambia miwa, nyeupe, girin, tirimbo, sinasema nga miwa, nyeupe, tirin, kirimbo, marawe, roskoko, mutamania, wairimo, ndizi, sweet banana, muraru, kabuki, ganda, maembe, babera, ni alikuwa na jaifi. Suku hiyo fita ikaingia baada ya hiyo. Fita ya kwanza, watu wa kwanza walimaliswa tare ine, mezu wa tatu, 1997. Hata mimi walikuwa wasi wanawake hiko ndani. Wanaume walimaliswa mbele yetu, sisi tukaweka buduki hapo. Mimi ndo wafadhali mina kimbia usiku yote, usiku tuluroba, kambigarba, chachiles, baka buradua, nashikuwa na rusa kukasawome ya kurani kakwanya. Musichane ya dugu hiyo moja nilikuwa kati dugu yango, na kijanake na dugu abuja ya banango. Sasa hii musichane tango suku hiyo alikimbia, hakuna mali na juwa mali mutu na inda. Eee. Hapo zamani, sisi tulikuwa wakulima, tulikuwa tunashamba hapo chini. Na wakatile wa Clashes 2000. Ile nyumba tulikuwa tunuleishi ka bebo yote. Na vitu vyote vika porwa. Badai kwa vile tulikuwa na hii ploti ya pili. Tukamua kwa hamia hapa. Sasa tangu wakati hizo, mama likuwa kishi kwa nyumba hiyo katikati. Ambayo likuwa mbovu kabisa. Kwa miaka mingi likuwa hakuna mtu likuwa ya naishi dani. Sasa badae, haka batika. Ndiyo hakaja kushikana na mama ibadu. Na alio introdisiwa na watu wengine. Hapo mama haka tutembelea. Haka one vile mama naishi. Hapo ndiyo hata haka mwandikia kupatua msaada ya chakula. Na msaada zingine mpaka heri. Kulikuwa hata na msichana mkubwa. Ndiyo haka patua kujengewe hii. Some of our beneficiaries were lucky enough to have employment opportunities in the formal sector. NSSF provided a lump sum benefit upon retirement but offered no consistent pension in old age, leading to them not being able to sustain the cost of living. According to studies, you need approximately 70% of what you earned at the peak of your career to maintain the same standard of living in retirement. Mimi kwa majina na ito Ahmed Muhammad Sala. Mimi ni mzaliwa hapa Isiolo. 1956. Ni mzaliwa hapa. Lakini mesomea mara la second school. Hapa ni mzaliwa hapa Isiolo. Badae, ni kanekisho kazi ya polisi. Ni kaneke kajo. Kapita training. Ni kaneke kajo. Sub officer. Kako sub inspector. Pole pole tunamle ni kacha kazi. Ni kaneke ngambo. Anyway, in Chijirani, yet of Somalia, 
كفرت كارتي لكندا نمبر اني كندا ان جي او حاجه سنتيشن كفرت فعلا كان اصلا ارسل له كل جنك طرق كان 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 Support apa ni? Di mana ni? Patut betul betul ke NGO mana fanya kasi? Mama ibarat. Enam undang undang saya dia sana. Ini bah, amen jengya. Ini bagi nona ini jadi kau naik sama ni. Ah, aku tu si, ni kau naik nak snacks. Sekarang nama tu lugu snacks tu yang kau tak kau. Nai nafuz jauh bua. Asal ni kan kau jangan ni kan tu yang kau jengya ni bayi. Enam nama dia asal sana, nama syukur sana. Kafir nama patut ni bah. As a result of old age, the seniors are more likely to face significant health care costs which need to be met through out-of-pocket payments that many of them don't have. This problem cuts across the whole fabric of the Isiolo community. Someone like Halima clearly demonstrates the proper health care access problem in Isiolo. Halima experienced minor pains and therefore visited a local clinic for medical checkup. She was misdiagnosed, leading to treatment that paralyzed her. She later lost her husband to banditry while on a business trip, leaving her with five children under her care without family or resources. Poverty is not only a pandemic for the old, but also a malignant cancer that is making society lose the moral fibers that held humanity together. Faced with such situations, Mama Ibado is forced to stretch its mandate to reach all that have been undignified by poverty. Unfortunately, Halima passed on during the compilation of this video. Thank you, Halima. I Payarabe, bari yola ti yalle tarabe qabate. Ano ba kung ano si mama ibado pa argente ba tarabe ba kaya tinga dufe? Due to poverty, they are marginalized from the formal economy and end up working in the informal sector, where they are prone to exploitation and work-related accidents. Ni mkono zamani mnakatwa na mashini ambao nilikuwa nafanya kazi ambao nika mashini ikapita juu yangu 1978 nilikuwa hmm. naniuma usiku silali mchana hata shida sana basi mama bado vijana yake akakuja akatuangalia akasema akaita Red Cross kutoka Nairobi Red Cross akakuja daktari yao akakuja Masa wakaanza ku ngalia mkono akasema hii paka walifanya operation kapeleka operation sasa nasikia nafu kabisa nafurahia hawa nashukuru zaidi kwa hiyo watu wamenisaidia katujengea manyumba ilikuwa tunaishi mimi manyumba ya matope na akaanza kumpa simu ya chakula nini madawa hata kwa wakati wanipeleka hospitali kufanyia operation mkono There has been a growth in the numbers of children being raised by grandparents without their parents at home. This is as a result of girls getting children out of wedlock or unfortunate incidents of loss of life of the parents in the community. Mimi hakuna busi na gombe na nini hakuna. Mimi na watoto. Watoto wangu Watoto wangu hakuna kasi na mimi mwenyewe hakuna kazi. Kijana wangu ile kubwa ile kijana wangu na fariki hapo. Nyumba yake ni ile. Mototo sita na wacha mimi. Naona? Mototo sita na wacha hapo. Na mshikana wangu mmoja hana hapana. Yeye na fariki hapo tu. Mototo na wacha mimi. Mototo ngapi? Nne. Mwae baadu wakati naona watoto hiyo, wakati hiyo sikuya yeye naona watoto yote niliokuwa sasa yote kuchakuwa kubwa. Naona? Sasa mambo ya karibu na chika kitu alafu nalia. 
Our housing program is an advocacy program, is a, which means that we identify the need, we identify what we need to do for our elders, and then we look for supporters and partners to help us achieve the goal of helping our elders. One of our beneficiaries amepoteza nyumba nyumba yake ilichomeka. So mmoja wetu MIC team akaamua kumjengea nyumba room moja. So wenye MIC team wakakuja wakaona ile nyumba waka tukarudi kwa table wakaulizana labda kunaye wengi nyumba wana nyumba wana place ya kulala wengine nyumba zimechomeka wengine family wameweka mahali pabaya. So tukaamua tuende field tufanye research kwa beneficiary wetu tujue venye wanaishi na environment ile wanaka. So venye research ilifanywa like questionnaire watu wanaulizwa maswali unaishi wapi, mnakaa watu wangapi, nyumba ina gani. After research ilifanywa tuturudi kwa board. So MIC team, all MIC team from Nairobi, Canada, Isiolo, kila mahali MIC team wakaamua kujenga nyumba tatu wafanye test. Waone kama hii nyumba tujue inaweza chukua pesa kiasi gani inaweza saidia aje wazee so wakaamua kujenga nyumba tatu the f that is first three houses ilijengwa na MIC team we decided to build three which uh, ambassador Amina funded one i funded one and our volunteers funded the other one and we built three houses our volunteers used to come every summer and participate in the housing project an outstanding donation of 200,000 Canadian dollars was made through one of our partners, the Monk Foundation, to Mamaibado Charity to build 100 houses for 100 seniors. The first thing that Mamaibado Charity did was to conduct an assessment on all their beneficiaries to find out who was in dire need of the housing. This was done in collaboration with the local administration. For processing for nyumba kujengwa first sisi tunaenda ya field tunaenda kwa beneficiary house tunaangalia anaishi yapi tunaangalia ile nyumba ile environment ile anaishi kama kama environment anaishi ni kuzuri huyo tumjengi lakini kama tunaona beneficiary nyumba ni mbaya imevunjika vunjika vitu kama hiyo tulikuwa tunachukua list list wa 200 ile tunaweza jenga nyumba tukaendea all our beneficiaries tukapata list tukarudi ndo nyumba ianze so kwa ile plot ile tunapata tunafaa kujenga nyumba kila beneficiary anakuja na document land document alafu tuna after land document tujue land ni yake ili tukimjengia wasifukuzwe ama wasichukuliwe nyumba ama kama land si yake familia ile wanampatia land wanaleta land document alafu kuna chief anadhibitisha hii mtu anahitaji nyumba na familia pia wamekubali tumjengie hapo first thing organization Mimi ndio mwenye area. Ndio najua ni nani anastahili kupata msaada, ni nani afai kustahili. So normally huwa wakisajili watu, hawa hawa pia wako na misimamo yao. Lakini ili kuverify kuhakikisha kwamba hii msaada imeenda kwa the right people, huwa wanakuja kwa ofisi yetu ndio tunashirikiana. During the housing project, MIC faced challenges and difficulties that seemed insurmountable. But through their visionary leadership and an unrelenting sacrifice from the volunteers, they soldiered on. We built these homes. Uh, we faced challenges, a number of challenges. And some of the challenges that we faced was first the design of the homes. When we built our first homes, after first building the first three, we realized that the wind was a challenge and the sides of the homes needed to be improved to, to give more protection to our elders. We then uh, revisited the sides, added another piece of wood to ensure and that there is adequate protection from wind from all the four sides of the house and the windows are properly protected. That was the first thing that we did. We then realized also the wind was affecting and the rain was affecting the roofs and the roofs were being threatened to be blown away and we had to look at the sideboards. So we put sideboards along the roof, and that's another improvement, and added a ceiling board in all the shelters or the houses we built. 
We also had a situation whereby uh, one or two of our uh, of our beneficiaries had challenges. Uh, one of them was paralyzed and they needed more room and we need to help them out. So we need to custom made and redesign some of our homes to meet that need. Yeah. The other challenge we had was there was a time during uh, 2019, uh, the cost of wood went high, very high because the government uh, put a ban on logging and we couldn't easily access wood. That affected us. The other challenge was the obvious one of COVID. We had to stop construction. We had also cost escalations there. And in the process, we slowed down in our target because we hope to finish all, every construction by 2020. Nyumba moja, ikiwa na mafundi wa tatu, inachukua two weeks. Ikona mafundi wa tatu na watu wa tatu wa mkono, inachukua two weeks. Nifiti kumi na mbili, mbay kumi na mbili, na cho. Nachukua wiki mbili. Yeah. Ni kwa hii mboma nini, hakuna maji. Na place sigine hapa isiolo, hakuna maji. Maji ni akuchotwa. Sasa tunafurifa kulipo kulipa ngari kutoka pale, unalipa wakina mama, wanaenda wanachota maji kwa mtu wanakiletea. Target yetu ilikuwa hii mwaka tufikise jumba 100. But wakati corona imeingilia mahali pale, atujafika. Kwa jili kuna challenge ilingia hapo nyuma ya corona, atukuweza kuenea kujengia watu tetsana. We were planning to build 100 homes. We built 85 amazing homes, and we have given 85 beneficiaries who are happy beneficiaries of these homes. And we'll see the homes that we built are really, really nice, look very good, and they offer proper protection. This includes a washroom. <laughs> Nalala msuri kabisa. Hai. Wacha. Tuna furai sana. Tuna furai kabisa. This is a fantastic cause. I'm very proud to be part of this. Uh, to witness it in person is uh, something else. It's one thing. I always say it's one thing to understand what's happening in another country. It's another thing to be part of it, to live and breathe it, to be part of a community. And I'm going to say Mami Badu is one of those foundations that is all about community, all about family, incorporating everybody. You can see that they have local people here building the house. The family is right beside us. So we know who the house is for. We know directly where everything is going and the whole community pitches in. We have a slew of volunteers that came from Canada to help out as well. Yeah decision to fund the housing project made a huge, huge difference to us and to our elders. This housing project galvanized the foundation of my Bado, and it also brought together the beneficiaries and volunteers from Canada, from Kenya, from different countries in the world to help and participate and identify, identify the need that our elders have. Sasa kutoka wakati yu, 2016 tukawa tumekuwa marafiki. Alafu 2017 ni nikaingizwa kwa mradi wa kukula chakula. Ndio unaona niko na afya na sina shaka. Ninafurahia 2018 ndio tena nikajengewa hii nyumba. Yaani mahali nimetolewa na mama ibado. Nina siwezi kuelezea lakini moyo wangu huko na furaha na ni huku nikiwaambia Mungu anayeishi awe akiangalia hii jamii yote ya mama ibada hata ile iko ngambo hata ile iko mahali popote awe akiwakinga na kuwasiliga ni kwa sababu mnasaidia watu wengi sana hii kwa nyumba iko baraka tukule metujengea hatuna cho hakuna bloat hata karibu na chukule hakuna mtu anajenga sasa ile mama ibada amenijengea amenijengea nyumba na makaisi jawai kukaa mahali yangu nyumba ile si bila rent siku ni melala kwa mama ibado stare ni melala vizuri imeingia cho mzuri na tunambarikia ile shamba siku tunakula 
tunakaa nyumba ya mama ibado vizuri na tunachukua rasha nyumba very wana changu fleko sina sikiza kichwa kizungu hata kasi tena kenda to soma zitani alafu kweli wametengeneza chama moja mzuri sana nikatengeneza mwenye kijwa kile ni nini besha ni kukalia nilisho nikaenda choka kama hii sio sikaenda chini paka nikalia hii nimetengeneza ya kukalia sana kwa vizuri sana kuna maji yangu nimejitoa kutoka kwa kwa maoga na sina niko mzuri sana nyumba ndio hiyo maana wakati kuingia last kwa karibu na wewe nikaenda kutana na nzima hapo karibu tu niko comfortable very comfortable ndio wame da mfanya kama baba Mungu Mungu msaidie ata pamoja na wafanyi kazi wote. Leo niko na safini ngapi? Kutoka 50 mpaka saa hii nimezangaje? Na kama nilikuwa naandikwa kwa serikali nigiwa na kula nini? Sio pesa ni alafu lakini nakula mama ibando. <laughs> Alhamdulillah nakula ya hii mama walai bilai. Nakula ya mama ibando maskini ya Mungu. Maisha yangu imepandilika sababu kila mtu akwa na wivu na mimi sababu nilijengewa. Sasa hapa nimeishi karibu miaka 10 na kitu. Nikuwa hapa ni plot ni yango. Na nilikuwa naitishi kwa nyumba ya nyazi kama hiyo unaona pale. Sasa baada ya Mungu na mwepada akanisaidia akanjigea nyumba. Sasa mimi nakaa mzuri. Chakula ninapatiwa. Napatiwa kila mwezi na kuma ration na tunakula hizo hizo ndio mimi najua kwa mtu pande ya mama ibadi lakini sasa siku hizi mimi naingia kwa choo naara kwa choo so yango inasafishwa na nakaa bali mzuri kama kungekuwa na shirika na hii sio mara ya kwanza nimehojiwa huwa anasema mara nyingi kama kungekuwa na shirika zingine kuna shirika nyingi ziko hapa isiolo wangeshikwa mfumoelekeo kama mama ibadi leo hatungekuwa katika hali tulikuwa sasa so mimi hawa wanapongeza na washukuru sana na shukrani zao atuesu kulipa kama binadamu labda Mwenyezi Mungu na wale wameelekea The team at Mama Ibado Charity worked extremely hard to provide housing and improved living situation of the beneficiaries By December 2021 Mama Ibado Charity had helped 85 beneficiaries move out of broken down houses and into safe and sturdy houses where they no longer fear heavy rains and their health and hygiene tremendously improved. Mama Ibado is slowly one house at a time restoring the dignity of the elderly population of Isiolo. With every house built, a family unit starts to heal. Across Isiolo County, Mama Ibado Charity Impact has been felt in all the sub counties that were in dire need of the housing assistance. These included Bulapesa, Bulatakwa, Olaotha, Kambigarba, Kambiju, Esmit, Shambani, LMD, and Kambi Asharaf. This is a testament to the change Mama Ibado is bringing across Isiolo. So it is really really a great privilege today to say that you're watching this video of these homes they look amazing they have achieved a great goal for us uh, to have this housing they are only 85 i wish there will be 10000 so we are excited with the hope that we will have an opportunity to do more we would like to look at the challenge of land and see how our elders can affect land because that was an issue that limited some of our elders to get houses and that was uh, a limitation if there's a way we can talk to the county and find solutions for for land for our elders then we can build them we can look for ways of building more homes A lot of people to thank for a lot of people have put a lot of time and effort in this project uh, and all of them the first person i like to thank again or the first entity or group of people i want to thank is the monk foundation the monk foundation with their funding made this a reality they made this construction possible 
I also like to thank the Ofei family for their involvement in the construction of this housing project and not to forget Danny Logulo. I would like to mention our team members who have been very much involved in this project. And they have put their time, starting with Nazarwit from the beginning, who started, uh, took interest in housing. But I want to mention specific, everybody in the, you know, my bad has been involved in a housing project and all of them deserve to be thanked and appreciated because most of these uh, members or supporters or give us their time freely and their volunteers and there's no way we can afford to pay them because they put their time they put their weekends they put their weekdays to come and support us one person who has been involved with the project from the beginning is Noor Ali. Noor Ali has been responsible to ensure that the project was executed wherever we have challenges of design challenges of course challenges she comes and stays in Siolo and follows up and ensures everything is resolved. And she has put a lot of effort and time into this. So I'd like to really, really thank her for her time, effort, commitment, and everything she's done for this housing project. The other one that has worked very, very hard uh, towards uh, who joined us later was Fardos Ali. She's worked uh, hand in hand with uh, Fardura and has made this a reality. They have together, looked at the challenges we've had, difficulties of COVID, how we can continue the project going, and they have achieved. I would like to mention Maryam, Maryam Ali, Maryam Ahmed. Maryam Ahmed uh, has been really, really uh, involved in this project from the beginning. The name roof of our head was from her. She was involved in refining and working with the team here in getting the proposal done sharing the proposal, following up the proposal, and even we, together with her, presented the proposal to the Monk Foundation and, and through Tony, and we got uh, the positive feedback of the support. So I'd like to thank her very much uh, for her involvement, her input, her continued involvement in the, the housing project. The housing project has been a team project. We've had a lot of people involved. All of the uh, teams in, um, in, in Isiolo have been involved. So I want like to thank everybody in the Isiolo office who has worked hard for this project. Uh, for me, it is a great privilege, a great pleasure. And to, today I present to you this documentary and this video which shows the houses we've built, what we've achieved, and our happy beneficiaries. I'd like to say Asante Sana, Thank you very much for everything and may God bless you.